welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you the newest release from Stella Chroma. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe too. I upload new lives watching videos every week. So this collection, which I believe is called the Fall Puns Collection, releases at noon central time on September 10th. It includes four absolutely beautifully formulated fall creams. And as you can see, the colors couldn't be any more perfect for the season. If you haven't tried Silichroma polishes before, let me take a second to let you know you are majorly missing out. Stella Chroma seriously has one of the most amazing formulas I've tried from any brand. I actually only started swatching for Pam a few months ago and was so excited when she asked me to swatch for her because I have a pretty big collection of Stella Chroma polishes. And on top of that, I just love the Stella Chroma logo. I think the bottles look super high end and luxury. All right, we have four beautiful polishes to look at today. Plus at the end, I'm gonna add some bonus footage telling you a little bit about Stella Chroma's monthly mystery polish subscription. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. So I did try to edit and adjust these bottle shot videos and my application videos to get them as color accurate as possible. However, please keep in mind that my full hand swatch videos that are outdoors and all of my swatch photos are gonna be your best bet when it comes to color accuracy. So this first shade is called Never Fall Tur. Get it? Ah. <laughs> and it's described as being a brick red raisin shade. This was Pam, the maker of Stella Chroma's favorite nail polish color in her early high school years. So the 90s are making a comeback and this shade is a nod to that. As you can see, application is perfect. Oh my goodness, this was so easy to work with. It was almost fully opaque on that first coat, was absolutely for sure fully opaque in two. And I think regardless of your nail length, regardless of your visible nail line, this will be fully opaque for everybody in just two coats. So here's what Never Falter looks like on the full hand swatch and some sunny outdoor lighting. Remember, this is going to be most color accurate. Oh, I love rich brick shades like this. They are one of my favorite colors to wear in autumn. Pictured are two coats of Never Falter with a glossy top coat. Up next is the orange in this release. It's called By Falisha. <laughs> Um, and it's described as being the warm orange that you need to complete your fall wardrobe. And I have to agree with that. No fall collection, in my opinion, is complete without a beautiful orange. And this one is just stunning. It's right there in the middle. It doesn't have too much yellow in it, but it's bright, but it's not too bright. It's not a burnt orange, but it's not a bright summery orange either. To me, it's just perfect as we transition from warmer weather to cool. And no surprise at all, this one was also incredibly smooth and easy to work with. It was almost fully opaque at my nail length in just one coat, but I did go in for two just so that there was absolutely no visible nail line. As you can see, it just goes on so smoothly. It's a really rich, beautiful shade. And yeah, I love this kind of color. It reminds me of pumpkins. <laughs> So here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch. Again, this is going to be our most color accurate. Oh, it's just perfectly teeters the line between being bright and fun and just, you know, more fall-like. I love it. Pictured are two coats of By Falisha with a glossy top coat. Moving on to the cooler half of the collection, this one's called Leaf It To Me, and it's described as being a rich Kelly Green Cream. I totally agree with that description. The shade is definitely rich. I would say it's on the darker side of a Kelly Green, and it's almost so dark that I feel like I could pull it off in December around the holidays too, which I love. As far as application goes, I would say Leave It To Me had the most curly-like formula out of this collection. You can still see quite a bit of the nail line on that first coat, and I think everyone will need between two and maybe three coats on this one, but I think most people will be good in two. As you can see, I was great in two. <laughs> Despite my visible nail line, it built up really beautiful in two coats. All of these dried down very shiny, and that wide paddle brush just makes them so easy to go on. So here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch. Just a rich, vibrant, beautiful Kelly green. You guys know I don't usually love greens, but this one I truly enjoyed wearing. 
pictured are two coats of Leave It To Me <laughs> with a glossy top coat. <laughs> And the final polish in the collection, and to my surprise, my very favorite of the bunch, is called Raking It In. And it's described as being a cool teal that perfectly complements the warm tones that you generally wear in fall. Um, I would say that this teal definitely leans more blue than it does green. Hopefully it's coming off pretty color accurate on camera, but again, for reference, use my full hand swatch and my swatch photos. On application, this one was so smooth and easy to work with. In my opinion, it applied a lot like the red and orange in this collection and that it was a little bit more creamy than it was curly. I did go in for two coats and reached full opacity. I almost had full opacity at one. So I would say two coats is gonna be about perfect for everyone. So here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch, y'all, y'all. I wore this for three days. I got so many compliments. I love this color. I was just staring at my nails. Oh, it made me feel so good. Yeah, so this is definitely my favorite. Pictured are two coats of raking it in with a glossy top coat. And as promised, I do want to take a second to tell you all about Stellachroma's monthly mystery subscription polish of the month. If you'd like to pause this video and read the website description, of course you can do that. But basically, about the middle of the month, you'll be charged $10 plus shipping. And then a few days later, in your mailbox, you will receive a mystery polish from Stellachroma. Um, I love it because I don't know of any other indie boxes that are automatic subscription boxes. Like, I don't have to sign up each month. I don't look at the polishes. I have no idea what I'm going to get. I just know it's going to be an amazing Stellachroma polish. About the middle of the month, you'll be charged that $10 plus shipping. And a few days later, you'll get those beautiful polish that beautiful polish in the mail. So we're gonna take a look at the past three polishes I've gotten because I've been part of this program for three months and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. <laughs> So going back to the month that I joined the subscription, June was my first month participating. So this was June's mystery polish of the month. If you weren't part of the subscription at this time, unfortunately, you might have a hard time finding this polish. You might have to hunt it down in a de-stash because Pam does make them exclusively for the mystery box. But I would describe this polish as being a neon yellow Crelly with gorgeous iridescent flakes. I love that this isn't a polish that I would buy on my own, but my goodness, did I enjoy wearing it. It was so fun to wear. And I love that by spending $10 a month, I never know what I'm gonna get. I know it's gonna be high quality because it's Stellachroma and I love Stellachroma polishes, but it's a total surprise every single time. And I truly can say I've enjoyed all three polishes that I've gotten so far. As you can see, this one is much more less, much less work appropriate than the Fall Puns collection. That's because Stella Chroma just pours all of her creative juices into these monthly mysteries and wants to make things that are fun and a little bit out there, and I love it. So like I said, I wore this one already. You're looking at three coats of June's Mystery Polish. And if I thought June's polish was really, you know, making me step out of my comfort zone, well, July's polish said, hold your, hold the phone. <laughs> Get ready for me. Um, so I would describe this polish as being a matte neon green with purple hex glitters and gold and red micro glitters. So all aspects of this polish completely push me out of my comfort zone. I usually stay away from mattes. I stay away from greens. I stay away from neons and I stay away from glitters when I'm purchasing anyway. Of course, when I get stuff in PR, I'll swatch whatever they make. But when I'm purchasing my own polishes, this is not something I'd go for. But I love that, you know? I like having one polish every month that I have no idea if it's going to be something that I would buy my own, on my own um, and I can just try it out um, because I've found my tastes have changed tremendously over this year and if I don't try new things I can never grow <laughs> um, so here's what it looks like in two coats you can see it dries to a beautiful matte finish and all of those glitters are so interesting in there I find they really pop against that gorgeous neon base and I was curious what it looked like glossy if you were too. Here's what it looks like. I think I might like it better matte, but it's gorgeous glossy as well. 
And then in August, I got something much more in my wheelhouse. I would say it's a very pink leaning purple, almost like an orchidy color with some holographic flakes, some linear holographic pigment, and then some purple shimmer. And this one's just bright and fun and just this color is so Rachel. Now I don't usually gravitate towards these kinds of shades of purple, um, but I'm really excited to wear this one. The hollow in it is gorgeous and I love anytime we get hollow and we get shimmer together. I mean, just look how sparkly it is on the nail wheel. It's beautiful. It reminds me of flowers. So I could totally see myself wearing this one either in the summer or in the springtime too. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but these polishes weren't sent to me in PR. I purchased them with my own money. Each month it's around $13 because it's $10 plus the shipping. And you can have a beautiful mystery polish at your door every month. So super cool. Let me know in the comments if this sounds like something you're interested in. Go Stella Chroma for such a unique, cool concept. So that was Stella Chroma's Fall Puns collection. So let me know in the comments if you're gonna be picking any of these up, maybe even the entire collection. Remember that if you grab them within the first two weeks of their release, so between September 10th and September 24th, that you actually get a discounted price of $39. I'll leave links below for Stella Chroma's site, social media, and a link to more information about their mystery subscription box. And if you're in the mood to check out some more live swatch and review videos, I've posted quite a few recently. Last week I live swatched and reviewed Wildflower Lacquer's Happy Little Polishes collection. I also recently live swatched and reviewed part two of the Bees Knees Lacquer from Blood Nash collection. And I live swatched and reviewed China Glaze's Halloween 2021 collection called Extra Stellar. I'll leave those videos linked in the description box so you can check them out in case you're interested. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!